What's up, guys? It's a narrated roll with uh, Duck Jitsu coming at you. We got Tyler, my dog, right here. We're going, starting off a friendly roll as usual, hard in the paint. Tyler's doing a good job of uh, taking grips initially. So again, half guard, little action there. All right, working from this overhook, nice little off balance, and that was a very spazzy fall in the legs by me. So that was pretty slick, actually. Let's go back. Let's go back. Not my my spazzy falling on the legs here, but this part right here. So I have a crunch grip, and we're kind of on our side here, and I actually shoulder shrug this for a back take. So I get it across my center line, and then I immediately snag up the back here, working with a cross face hand on the left side, single hook. Tyler's doing a good job defending, and then I hit that little switcheroo for some misdirection. So, all right, here we're going again. A little hand fighting, a little double Koichi action. Okay. So that's it. That's another thing I like to do. Oh, this is terrible. My foot's off the ground. But um, using your grips to get that pullback and then getting from your ass to your feet is something. Uh, it's it's a good practice and it kind of works it more into the wrestling. Um, so whenever you can establish a grip, when you get that opposite pullback, a lot of times they pull you up to the feet. So I think I'm trying like a little soto here. Yeah, a little boom. Should have got my a little bit more grounded all right so Tyler gets the back I kind of abandoned the overhook and I'm trying oh this is a good one I I messed this one up but uh I'm in this uh, rear standing position and what I'm trying to do is I'm trying to do a reach back on this uh, far side leg here um, getting into Ashigrami actually uh, Giant Slayer was someone who pulled this off on me and I've been trying to to mix it in ever since. Um, I have you know good Granby potential. I have good switches, but it's kind of a new move I'm working on. Um, it's where you take a it's like a switch. You take a, a reach on the the leg. You can go under or over, and you try to get to your Ashigrami. But here, I think Tyler's base wasn't quite wide enough where it would have been a better option to just go on my Granby. But I was trying to force the move because I'm practicing it right now. But I gotta, I gotta read that position a little better. So, gave up some back exposure here. Tyler's doing a good job of uh, getting that shoulder grip and kind of pulling me on. He just doesn't have his hooks. Goes to a seatbelt here, which I think is a mistake. But he might get it. No. All right. So, boom. We're on the side here. I'm fighting hooks. I'm looking to turn my shoulder into the mat and then get center line and just pull it in right to full guard but here man tyler slick he does a nice transition just to a trap triangle position so he immediately goes um you know from a good position where i'm defending to another offensive position where he's threatening a triangle so let's see what i do got a little step up here trying to open that space up by my neck and then I step over the top here for defense and I elongate my spine to break that trap triangle. Immediately I'm going on my offensive cycle where I'm just going right into my leg entanglements trying to expose the heel. Tyler's doing a good job of hiding his heel towards the mat and I use this just to come up on a sweep. So nice little hand fighting, nice switch of positions. Working circular movement here, trying to get him supine. Can't quite do it. Now I got him supine, threatening, a little misdirection on my pass. Try to sloppy knee slice there. Move in, little leg drag. Lacing it. See what I do from this pin. All right, threatening the Kimura. And this is a nice pin here. I don't think it's used enough. Um, it's like a modified north-south uh, where you sit your rib cage onto their face and you you have like really solid uh, spinal misalignment and then you threaten uh both arms both arms are in jeopardy from uh you know being attacked on kimura 
And then also there's back exposure um, if you turn away from your partner and possible uh, neck crank possibilities as well, which I don't, I don't mess with too much, but um, it's just, it's a really solid pin. I think it, it works well for uh, bigger guys um, holding them down and it gives them the option of giving up their back. So that's, that's why I like it. So we'll see how this plays out. Trying to play Dilemma between both arms. Really focusing on the Kimura. Yeah, Tyler straightens out his arms, kind of forces me to step over. And this right here, really solid position, uh, especially if you're a smaller guy and you're trying to do Kimura, it's going to be in your best interest to get your whole body weight uh, behind your partner versus just like, you know, using your, your upper body. So I was able to transition over and then get some good pressure going. So I'm going to be significantly stronger on top if I could, um, you know, sit on the Kimura for the pin. So it was a nice little finish crawling over, you know, nice little burrito grip here. Again, I used that to get up cause I got that opposite tension, harassing the feet, playing for my overhook. I think last time Tyler took my back off this one, I kind of abandoned it. I was playing it a little bit. So, oh, nice little lift. So that's something too, um, you know, we work on is, I got this from uh, J-Flow, but anytime you're picked up, I should immediately turn this into a new Chimata actually. I don't think I had an upper body grip. That was the issue. But anytime you're lifted off the mat, when you can get a connection, it'll help decelerate that position. So just watch it here. As he lifts me, kind of a little counterbalance. And really, I should have immediately gotten to my throw, but I didn't. Same little block of the knee. That one was a little bit better. Getting behind and then immediate transition right into the inverted heel hook. Again, not really forcing it. Just, you know, playing off the transition, using that to sweep. We're kind of dancing here, just moving, you know, with each other. We're not too focused on getting a finish. Not too focused on, you know, controlling your partner to the point where they can't really do anything. So that was a nice one um, off the Muay Thai clinch. I like to occasionally play with that. I just got uh, Tyler's head <laughs> forward and his immediate reaction is to pull it back. And I use that to, to go into a rolling front headlock. So from here, I'm looking for a high wrist position. And Tyler did a really good job really good job of kind of uh, hitting a, a drag out here if you if you see he moves his ear to the inside which you can't really see and he drags with his left arm to get it in and he just sits to half guard so pretty high level on his end um in like a half guard trying to insert my foot get past his legs so same thing here i'm looking for that arm bar just using a crowbar grip it gets to his side and immediately i go on my three-quarter nelson uh, looking to get Dars. I don't know what that was. I think Tyler hopped there. I'm trying to break him down, but he gave me, you know, he sold that one a little bit for me. A little bit of a hopping motion. All right, so I'm trying to get my guillotine. Ooh, nice little Soto block on the outside. Ooh, nice ankle pick. We do our AAP wrestling here, so just step up. Go to the ankle, use your elbow, use your wrist, a block of the Achilles, get the job done. Then immediately pressuring in, looking to get in your guard passing going. It's working from half guard. I think uh, Tyler here's thought he was looking for a Kimura for a second. So nice little J point passing. I'm going to fall over here. I, I, I know what I do. Um, so usually in this position, uh, you J point pass, you put your left arm on the shoulder and you get lower and you essentially kind of like trap your partner's back to the mat. I like to use this to bait my partner knocking me over to trap this, uh, this leg here with my two legs and attack the leg. So something I pretty commonly do and I just immediately go into my toe hold and there's a nice little, uh, trap with the, with the legs. So a little sloppy in the sense like I should probably just pass guard, but it's something, one of my sneaky attacks that I like to set up once I get to that J point passing. All right, let's see what I'm doing. Got a little elbow grip, a little two on one action, arm drag action. Tyler's gonna get a little guard pass. He does a good job of stapling the legs together too. For here, I think I'm hunting a Kimura. 
surprisingly, I was able to, to man strength Tyler and, and rip that Kimura over. Got short time. Ooh, there's the bell and I cheated. That's that's normal duck jitsu shit right there. All right, well that's uh that's the narrated roll. So we're gonna practice these. We're gonna get down to to a science really, and uh, we're gonna keep busting these out. But this is my first one. Just giving it a go. Um, hopefully uh, these breakdowns are helpful. Um, I'm gonna do them on other people other than myself. I think starting off. I'm a practice on, you know, footage of myself that I have. And then we'll see where this goes. We'll see where it goes, people. So that was a clap. Um, subscribe. Give me a thumbs up. Dislike it. I don't care. It's all good for the algorithm. Let's go, baby. Narrowed roll with Duck Jitsu done. All right, how do I stop this?